I am introducing you to the refresher course in energy systems engineering. This is a course that we have formulated the department of energy systems, energy science and engineering at IIT Bombay. I'm pleased to introduce the course on energy systems engineering. This course will give you an overview of the basics of energy systems engineering. It will talk about the latest developments and challenges in energy supply, technologies, demand side options. It has three components. The first component is a set of lectures on the perspective and then we have a series of lectures on the tools and techniques that you need to analyze energy systems. And finally, we focus on various aspects of technology and systems. So who should take this course? If you look at the learning outcomes that we have planned, we want this to be a course which can refresh concepts for existing faculty teaching energy courses. So if you are teaching courses related to energy, this course will benefit you. Also if you are in a, an allied discipline like mechanical, chemical, electrical engineering or a science background and you want to work in the area of energy or energy systems, this course would then benefit you. It will introduce the research challenges and opportunities in future energy systems and this could be your start to build up a research agenda in the energy area. The way we have planned this course, we have a academic advisory council drawn from all over the country uh, consisting of all the energy experts and the course outline. We have two lectures on perspective which will give you an idea of the past, present and future of energy systems and then focus on what is India's energy scenario and what are the challenges. We then have a series of lectures on tools and techniques giving you the foundation for the science and the engineering, looking at how we can analyze environmental impacts, sustainability and economics, planning and policy. And then we have some specialized tools and techniques for pinch analysis and process integration, modeling, simulation, optimization, heat transfer, computational fluid dynamics, and analytical techniques that you may need for experimentation. We have the third segment of our course is related to technologies and systems. We talk about clean coal and carbon capture and storage, unconventional oil and gas, advanced nuclear energy systems, and then about the new emerging microgrids and smart grids, electric vehicles, wind and hydro energy, wave, tidal, ocean energy. On solar photovoltaics, we will focus on silicon, we will look at also advanced solar cells and then tell you module about PV modules and systems. We will talk about batteries, the existing technology as well as novel technologies. Uh, we will focus on solar thermal and thermal energy storage, advanced bioenergy systems, waste to energy and fuel cells. We will briefly touch upon the hydrogen economy and hydrogen storage. And then there is a module which will tell you about energy auditing, energy and carbon benchmarking. Zero energy and energy positive buildings can actually transform our energy sector and we have a module on that. We also have a module on demand side management and demand response. So the way we have structured this course is that we expect everyone to take the perspective course. You can make a choice in the tools and techniques and you can have greater choice in the technologies and systems. So depending on your interests, you can pick up 12 hours from that 17 hours. So overall this course will equip you to analyze and teach energy systems engineering and to build a research agenda for energy. The energy systems of the future are going to be quite different from what exists today. And as academics and teachers having background in energy systems engineering will actually have significant benefits. Thank you.